हॅलो एव्हरीबडी आय एम ज्ञानेश्वर मीरा शिवाजी खांडबहाले आय एम असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बॉटनी के आर टी आर्ट्स बी एच कॉमर्स अँड एम सायन्स कॉलेज दॅट इज पॉप्युलरली नोन ॲज के टी एच एम कॉलेज नाशिक डिअर ऑल वी आर स्टार्टिंग इयर टुडे द कोर्स दॅट इज बांबू प्रपोगेशन अँड मॅनेजमेंट दिस इज अ कोर्स अंडर द स्ट्राईड सो टॉपिक for today's discussion is the introduction introduction having botany and taxonomy of bamboo and economics of bamboo that is mostly we are going to focus on the uses of bamboo so we know that bamboo is green gold of 21st century century why i am saying that bamboo is green gold of 21st century that you come to know after uh, finishing this lecture because bamboo is a really unique product and a really unique invention of human being for the sustainable development so first that is taxonomy of bamboo which is a first part of your topic so taxonomy means the identification classification and nomenclature of animals or the plant and that is called as taxonomy so taxonomical aspect of bamboo is that bamboo is comes under the division that is panerogams it is divided under the class that is angiosperm because it bears the flowers but flowers of bamboo is again one of the interesting thing that i want to tell you in the morphological part again sub class is monocotyledons so we know that angiosperm divided into two different sub classes that is dicotyledon and monocotyledon so the plants which are having two cotyledons comes under the dicotyledony and having a single cotyledon cotyledon comes under the monocotyledon because bamboo seed is having only one cotyledon it comes under the monocotyledons order is gramini again it is very interesting though this is very 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 useful product to human being it comes under the gramini that is gavad so uh, most of the population knows that what is gavad is or what is the members of gramini but bamboo is really useful product which comes under the order gramini family is bambusi and there are two important genera which are economically important these are bambusa and the dendrocalamus so this is a taxonomy of bamboo so there are different varieties of bamboo or species of bamboo which are economically important so according to the continent or according to the country changes of uh, there is the very much change in atmosphere so in india we are mostly cultivating 14 species for the bamboo production first one is bambusa bambus it is the first one and most economical species of bamboo second one is bamboo newtons third one bamboo pallida bambusa pallida fourth one bambusa polymorpha fifth one bambusa tulda sixth one bambusa vulgari seventh one bambusa balcoa again i am also uh, to uh, i have also told you that there are second uh, genera that is dendrocalamus so dendrocalamus digensius dendrocalamus brandisi then dendrocalamus hamiltoni dendrocalamus stocksi dendrocalamus strictus that is quietly wild one and dendrocalamus asper and again one of the genera is there that is melocona bacifer so these are the 14 species which are taxonomically uh, sorry which are economically important we are mostly cultivating this 14 species for the production of bamboo <clears throat> so now after the taxonomy of bamboo we are going to start the botany of bamboo so we, you know that what is mean by botany botany is the uh, systematic study of plants so being bamboo is one of the plant species we are going to discuss the botany of bamboo 
So bamboo is a complex woody stemmed perennial grass belonging to family Poaceae. It is quite complex structure because it comes under the angiosperms. It is most evolved plant having root, stem, leaves. So it is quite complex. It is a woody stemmed perennial. What is stem? We know that stem uh, is a important part of plant which uh, gives support to the vegetative part of the plant. So stem is quite woody and it is perennial and it belongs to the family that is Poaceae. The portion of bamboo below the ground level is called as rhizome which forms the vital source for, for its perennial growth. So underground portion of bamboo plant is called as rhizome. So whatever it is under the soil or in the soil is called as rhizome. Roots are produced by the rhizome and also extend up to lower nodes of the stem that are below the soil. So roots are produced by the rhizome and these roots extend up to the first node. So we know that bamboo stem having nodes and internodes. So there are a internode in between two internodes there is the node. So whatever roots which are produced by rhizome it extend up to the uh, first node that are below the soil. Again above ground is a cums. It is tall, cylindrical and having persistent branches. So above ground portion of bamboo is called as cums. C-U-L-M-S cums. It is tall. So whatever structure or morphological structure we know about bamboo that is the curve. So it is cylindrical and a persistent branches. So you can see here the diagram of the above ground portion of bamboo. So there is a flowering curve. So uppermost branch is a flowering curve which bears the flowers and flowers means inflorescence. Inflorescence is panicle type. This inflorescence having a spikelets and the florets. Again, below flowering curve, there is, you can see there is a new leaf. So these are the new leaves which are arising from the cums. Again, below there is the mature leaf, and at uh, the mature portion there is the nodes and the internodes. Again, you can see there that is the daughter plants. Uh, so small tillers are there, and these tillers are called as a daughter plants of bamboo. So this is a vegetative morphology of bamboo or this is the above ground portion of bamboo. In previous slide what we have seen there is the uh, below portion or underground portion is made up of rhizome and rhizome bears the roots and this is the portion above the ground and that is a tall and a curve. Leaves arises from the curves clump above the ground level. So whatever leaves are there, this arises from the clumps above the ground level. The leaf blades are flat, multi nerd often with transverse veins, usually with a petiole-like base which is articulated with the sheath. So this is a peculiar morphology of bamboo. There is a flat leaf blade. It is again a multi nerd and with a transverse veins and usually with a petiole-like uh, base which is articulated with the sheath. So there is a sheath. So uh, you can see in the diagram there is the curl which is having nodes and internodes. So there are two nodes and in between two nodes there is the internodes. And again uh, one more thing is that branches are arises from the nodes only. So you can see there there is uh, no uh, branches from the internodes. So nodes only bears the uh, uh, branches or the uh, new uh, structures. Again the rhizome spreads horizontally beneath the soil and produces both roots and shoot from its nodes. So you know that you know that rhizome present below the ground. So rhizome spreads horizontally beneath the soil. So it spreads only horizontally and while spreading it produces both roots under the ground and shoots uh, or uh, nodes uh, 
or shoots from its node above the ground again there are two two broad types of rhizome that is sympodial and monopodial so in different species there is a different type of rhizome some rhizomes are sympodial and some rhizomes are monopodial so what is sympodial and what is monopodial so the first one sympodial rhizome grows in a clusters and forms a clump by producing buds from their nodes at short intervals in the different directions so the bamboo produces from this type of rhizome is thick and strong so you can see in the diagram that is a sympodial type of rhizome which grow in a cluster and it forms a clump by producing buds from their nodes at the short intervals and the bamboo which is grown from a sympodial type of rhizome is thick and again it is very strong again second one is monopodial rhizome so monopodial rhizome continue to grow horizontally and produce buds at long intervals and hence do not form the clumps so in mono monopodial type of rhizome so suppose this is a first rhizome it continue to grow again it produces a new bud again it grows it produce it will produce the new bud so it uh, grows horizontally but in a one direction so this type of rhizome does not forms the clump so the new buds are produced from youngest one year old uh, one year old from the rhizome and this is a diagram which shows a monopodial type of rhizome so there are two type of rhizomes first one is sympodial and second one is monopodial <laughs> in uh, first or second slides i have told you that the flowering of bamboo it is angiospermic plants so it produces flowers but flowering is very interesting in bamboo what is interesting thing that is like other plants bamboo does not flower annually so uh, we see in other angiospermic plant every year they produces flowers but in the case of bamboo bamboo does not produces flowers every year so bamboo does not flower annually in general flowering and fruiting a uh, fruiting occurs only once during the lifetime so this is again a interesting thing that in life of bamboo it produces flowers at only once of a certain age of the clump after which it die and when it produces flowers after producing flower the plant is dying so the flowering cycle of bamboo varies from 7 years to 60 years depending upon the species so there are uh, different or uh, so many species of the bamboo and according to the species the flowering cycle varies and flowering cycle varies from 7 years to 60 years means some plant produces flowers after 7 years some plant produces flowers after 8 years after 9 years after 10 years up to the 60 years so some species are there which produces flowers after 60 years and after producing flower the plant will die so this is the thing that is very interesting about the bamboo that bamboo does not flower annually so this is about the flowering of bamboo again there are uh, three groups according to its uh, flowering pattern and the uh, flowering cycle so first one is annual the clumps remains healthy after the flowering so some species are there which are optional one so this remain flowering uh, remain healthy after the flowering and these are called as annual some are sporadic so only some clumps in an area flower and bears seeds and die there after suppose there is a large population of bamboo in a particular area and in that area only some clumps one plant so what is meant by clump suppose a there is one uh, plant of bamboo and this plant of bamboo having so many stems so that is called as clump so some clumps produces some flowers uh, produces flowers and some clumps does not produces flowers and that is called as the sporadic and last one that is a gorgeous so the whole population of bamboo over an extensive area flower over a period of time and die out 
Suppose there is a large population of bamboo and this large population of bamboo comes in the flowering at a time and that is called as a gorgeous. So there are three, three different types according to the flowering pattern. Again, based on the structure and growth characteristics of the clump, bamboo have been broadly categorized into a different forms. The first one is tree, second one is a straggler, third one is a reed and fourth one is a shrub. So what is tree? It is, these are tall and straight clumps and that is called as tree. Second one is straggler. These are medium sized clumps comes with the upper portion dropping or arching. So upper portion is dropping or the arching and that is called a straggler. Next one is reed. So this is a medium sized thin walled comes growing gorgeously like a reed breaks. And last one shrub, short and erect comes with an very thin wall. So these are the four different types based on its characteristics. So now our next part of our topic is economics of bamboo or the uses of bamboo. So it is a very important thing that uh, what are the economic importance or what are the uses of bamboo that must know. So the bamboo has a many uses mainly in construction, in construction, flooring, roofing, designing and a scaffolding. So in construction, this uh, bamboo is used for flooring or roofing or designing and the scaffolding. Again, it is used in furniture. Again, bamboo is used as a food. Again, bamboo is used as a biofuel. Then for fabrics making or for the cloth making, it is also used in a paper industry. Again, it is used to make the pulp, make the charcoal and again ornamental garden planting and environmental characteristics such as a large carbon sink and a good phytoremediation option improving soil structure and soil erosion. So <clears throat> in uh, today's area, era, we are looking uh, bamboo for mostly its a commercial uses for example to making the uh, for example uh, to making a furniture chairs tables and again so many attractive furnitures we can uh, prepare from the bamboo bamboo is used as a food for example uh, a younger stem or apical portion of bamboo can be used as a food it is also to make a biofuel then for the fabrics or clothes, paper, curves, pulp. So these are a quite modern uses of bamboo. But we must know that bamboo is very important environmentally. Why bamboo is important? Because it grows fast. It attains a desirable height, height in a very few period. So you know, we know that uh, plants are the only things which can prepare the oxygen in the process of photosynthesis. They absorb carbon dioxide and they give us the oxygen. So oxygen factory is only the plants and if we have a plants that can grow faster in small period of time means we can make oxygen in small period of time and the best option is the bamboo. If we cultivate bamboo, it grows very fast. It attains desirable height in a short period. And so we can get a more and more oxygen from the bamboo than or comparative to the other plant varieties. So this is a environmental aspect such as a large carbon sink. So uh, if we having a large uh, cultivation of bamboo means we can absorb a large amount of carbon dioxide and we can fix that carbon dioxide into the organic material. So it is a very large carbon sink. Again, a good phytoremediation option. So bamboo having a characteristics of uh, characteristics that they absorb a hazardous material from the ground. So and that is called as phytoremediation. So remediation of 
material with the help of plant that is called as phytoremediation. So you, we can use bamboo for the phytoremediation and again improving soil structure and soil erosion. So uh, bamboo grows very fast, luxuriously and they uh, stuck to the ground very harder so they can conserve the soil, they can increase or improve the structure of soil and then they can avoid the soil erosion. So these are the economical uh, economics of bamboo that this whatever I have told you that is other than the modern use of bamboo. So uh, if we uh, think the economics of bamboo in modern age that is bamboo can be used to prepare the musical instruments. Bamboo is used to prepare the fabrics and again can be used in textiles. Bamboo pulp and paper. Bamboo is used as a bioenergy. Bamboo can be used as a food and again can be used to prepare the beverages. Bamboo is used to making sport and a uh, recreation of bamboos. Then electronics can be prepared from the bamboo. Bamboo can be used to prepare the furniture. There are a bamboo jewelry and there are fashionable items which are prepared from the bamboo and bamboo is a household atom or bamboo can be used to prepare the household atom. So first one, bamboo musical instrument. So we have here bamboo thumb piano and bamboo pan flute. So bamboo uh, is used to make musical instruments from thousands of years. So we know that there are a uh, folk uh, instruments or musical instruments are there and these are this were mostly prepared from the bamboos and in modern age we can use a different type of musical instruments from the bamboo and these are the popular instruments that bamboo thumb piano and bamboo pan flute again bamboo drumsticks so uh, these are a um, very good uh, drumsticks can be prepared from the bamboo or we can say that only the uh, drumsticks which are prepared from the bamboo can be uh, having a good utilization in the music. Again bamboo xylophone is there, again bamboo saxophone reeds and a bamboo flute. So these are some musical instruments which are prepared from the bamboo. So there are so many musical instruments which were used in ancient times also and we can use a modern instruments of the bamboo. Next one is bamboo fabrics and the textiles. So this is again a very good use of bamboo. That is, uh, we can see here the pillow is made up from the bamboo. So we can prepare the pulp of bamboo and from that pulp and from that material, we can prepare the pillow and other material. Again, bath, uh, bamboo bath towels are also there. So these are the things which are prepared from the bamboo. Again, reusable bam bamboo makeup remover pads are also there, which can be utilized as a uh, in a cosmetics. Again, bamboo sheets can be prepared. Again, a reusable bamboo paper towels can be prepared, bamboo copy papers and disposable bamboo paper cups. So this is these are the uses of bamboo in the pulp and in paper. <coughs> Again, bamboo toilet paper can be prepared, bamboo baby diapers are there, bamboo coffee filters are there. Again, bamboo is used in a bioenergy production. So these are a four different uh, things which can be prepared from the bamboos, that is bamboo chips, then bamboo charcoal and again a bamboo pellets. So these are the things which we can use in a bioenergy domain uh, which are prepared from the bamboo. Again bamboo food and beverages. So this is one of the unbelievable thing that we can prepare the food and beverages from the bamboo. So bamboo shoots are mostly used in the preparation of this kind of items. <clears throat> For example directly bamboo shoots are there. Again bamboo beer can be prepared and a bamboo tea is also prepared. 
again bamboo is used in sport and the recreation so these are the very attractive things which can be prepared from the bamboo that is bamboo helmets and bamboo bicycles are also there <coughs> again bamboo bottles are there and bamboo baseball bat is also there so these are the things which we can in uh, which we can prepared in the uh, sports and the recreation from the bamboo again bamboo is not behind in this uh, it era that bamboo can be used in the preparation of the things which are used in the field of electronics for example speakers so the outer box of speaker is prepared from the bamboo again this is, there is the bamboo mouse so we can use a bamboo material to prepare the mouse and the material which is used in information and technology again digital clocks can be prepared from the bamboos and bamboo is used to prepare the calculators also so these are the things which we can make from the bamboo again bamboo jewelry and fashion so uh, this is a quite uh, uh, trending material uh, in this era that bamboo can be used to make the jewelry and again in the preparation of fashionable items so we can prepare uh, prepare watch from the bamboo again we can prepare earrings from the bamboo and this there is the umbrella so we can prepare the handles of umbrella from the bamboo so we can use bamboo in jewelry and uh, fashion and again this is one of the very important thing that is the furniture so we can prepare a uh, diverse type of furniture from the bamboo here we can uh, see the bamboo bookshelf again a uh, bamboo hanging light and bamboo chair so like this we can prepare tables sofas again corner tables from the bamboo again household items can be prepared from the bamboos for example bamboo cutlery these are very useful and a, uh, a very attractive uh, things that we can place in your home that is the bamboo household items that is bamboo cutlery bamboo cutting board is also there and the reusable bamboo dinnerware can be prepared from the bamboo so these are the things that we can prepare from the bamboo and again there are so many things or n number of uh, aspects of the bamboo that we can use in the day to day life <clears throat> so whatever we have discussed today is about the uh, botany of bamboo taxonomy of bamboo and uses of bamboo in the botany of bamboo we have seen the morphology morphological structure or morphology of the bamboo in taxonomy of bamboo we have seen its classification and its nomenclature and third aspect that is very important that is the uses of bamboos in next lecture we are going to discuss about the bamboo propagation in this lecture we have uh, started the botany taxonomy and economics of bamboo and from next lecture we are going to discuss actual cultivation and maintenance that is the bamboo propagation thank you thank you very much